Forget about ladders. I could just call the elevator. Look at this. That is so awesome. I'm so happy they added in pistons into MCP because now I could go up to the second floor in style. Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to build a realistic elevator in MCPE. This elevator is by far one of the best and I converted it from PC into MCPE with a few modifications and you need these modifications in order for it to work, which is why I'm making a new video. All right, so here's the elevator. As you guys can see, it has two different floors and like I said, it's quite Quite realistic if you want to call the elevator we simply hit that button and then the door opens up our elevator comes down then we could step onto the elevator hit that button and then we get sent to the second floor as you guys can see this is really cool we now exit to the second floor and we could send the elevator back down using a button right at the top so as you guys can see it basically works either way because there's a T flip-flop built into the system and yeah that is pretty awesome now before we actually build it I do want to mention that I will be creating some of the best MCPE redstone creations on my channel modified for my previous bills and this is sort of a redstone channel so you could trust that I will bring you the best of the best so anyways I just want you guys to remember that and possibly subscribe to see when those videos come out anyways now let's go ahead and start building up our redstone elevator so to get started we actually need a 7 by 9 area since I'm building on a super flat I am just going to build at random locations we need to place down four sticky pistons facing up just like this right next to each other once we have that we want to go ahead and place down some slime blocks right on top of our sticky pistons with our floor block for our elevator right on top of that now yet again we are building on a super flat so of course this will need to be three blocks into the ground in order for it to be leveled but either way let's go ahead and continue now we're going to use some obsidian over here and this build does require a lot of obsidian since we're working with slime blocks so just keep that in mind I'm building it in creative mode so it's not really a problem what we need to do now is place down a slime or a obsidian block right over there excuse me then place down another obsidian block on that slime block and then you want to come over here build up two blocks destroy the block at the bottom and then have that obsidian block over there build up two over here and then one at the top and then destroy these two blocks at the bottom and yeah that's basically going to be our inputs for all of our redstone all right, so what we need to do now is basically grab ourselves another obsidian block staircase down just like this and basically do that twice. And once you do that, you want to go ahead and make sure these are obsidian as well because they will be touching slime blocks in the future. All right, so now what I want to do is go ahead and grab myself some quartz blocks to just build with. And I'm going to basically place down one, two, three blocks over here, then build up one block over here and then build one block to the left, connecting these areas up. Then I want to go into my creative menu, grab myself a slab, and then you could choose any slab that you want, but you need to place a slab down right below that block, extend it by two, and make sure you destroy the slab over here, because anything that's going to touch our slime blocks will make the system break. Now what you want to do is place down a redstone repeater over here, set that to three ticks, place down two redstone repeaters over here, set this one to one tick, or actually two ticks, and then set this one to four ticks. All right, so now we grab ourselves a bit of redstone dust, place it over here over there and then all along here and what this is going to do is basically power the top and, and bottom sections excuse me and then we carry this redstone all the way to this area all right so what you want to do now is go ahead and grab yourselves an obsidian block break this block or actually place the block under here and then break the block at the top is what I meant to say. Then break the block at the top and then place a bit of um, obsidian over there as well. Now the reason why we're doing this is because of the current update in MCPE has a bug and this is a way to get around it. Now you will be able to see into the contraption like once you build up everything, but I think it's worth it since the elevator is pretty cool. Okay, so once you made those modifications, now what we need to do is grab ourselves a block of our choice, place it down right over here, and then place down a bit of redstone dust on top of that block, and then place down a redstone repeater in this area, and then set that to three ticks as well. All right, so now what we need to do is go ahead and grab ourselves a lever and test this out. So we go into this menu over here, and then grab that, place down our lever right over here, here 
then flick that lever, and as you guys can see, it will take our floor all the way to the top, basically moving it about four blocks, I believe, and that's going to be our second floor. All right, so that's pretty much that part of the contraption. Now we need to add in our T flip flop as well as our doors. Okay, so what we need to do now is grab ourselves some obsidian blocks, place it down right in front of these blocks to level it with the floor, then hit that lever and then send it towards our second floor, then outline it with our obsidian blocks yet again, then send it back down, then destroy this lever, grab yourselves some obsidian blocks yet again, build out three blocks just like this on this section of the map, destroy the block in the middle, grab yourselves a redstone torch, place it on the side of this block, then place down another obsidian block right above that with another torch right above it, then place down another obsidian block with a bit of redstone dust on top of that, and then place down a block up just like this, and that's going to be the location for our two buttons. All right, so what I'm going to do now is go into my menu, grab our, myself some of the buttons, place one over here, then one over there, then go back and grab my redstone as we need to build a T flip flop. All right, so now what I want to do is grab myself a block of my choice and then place it down, or actually we need to build this out of obsidian because there's going to be slime blocks. All right, so build a block over here, then grab ourselves actually a quartz slab and build down two like that, and then destroy the one on the on the top. And then once we have that, we want to go ahead and build out two blocks over here out of obsidian. Then grab ourselves a dropper, then place a dropper facing towards this direction, place a dropper facing towards the top direction, then place a dropper facing towards my direction by shift or by crouching and then placing it down. And then come over here and then crouch again with the hopper and place it going into the first dropper that we place down. So what's going to happen is a circular system. It's going to go from here to up here, then to down, and then basically go in an entire circle. All right, so what we need to do is place in a bit of redstone dust here. And the reason why there's a slab over here is because if we don't have a slab and just a block, this redstone torch will actually activate that bit of redstone dust, which is something that we do not want. All right, so now what we need to do is uh, go ahead and grab ourselves another block of our choice place down two blocks over here Then grab ourselves a redstone comparator from our menu So let's just go ahead and do that place down a redstone comparator coming out of that dropper going into a redstone repeater Then grab ourselves a sticky piston from our menu yet again Let's just go down here grab that then place the sticky piston facing down just like that, with either a block on top of it or a bit of redstone dust. I'm just going to place down a block right over there. And then I want to place down a, a redstone block right on the face of that sticky piston. And then grab ourselves another block of quartz. This is really hard because on MCPE you can't really have a full inventory without it being too complicated. But pretty much build out two blocks just like that. Place down redstone dust here and there. And when the... When that uh, piston is extended, it should go ahead and turn on our system. So let's go ahead and test this out. But first things first, we need to place down an item inside this dropper right over there. It could be any item, so I'm just going to place down a bit of redstone dust. Yet again, it is that dropper. And simply, we click on that uh, button right over there. As you guys can see, our elevator would go up. And we click on this one, and it would go down. It works with either button, because that is, of course, a T flip-flop. All right, so the next thing we need to do is grab ourselves some blocks, build out one, two, three blocks on the right-hand side of that middle section that we outlined, then build out three more blocks on this side, grab ourselves a sticky piston, place one at the top facing towards the middle, then place one at the bottom facing towards the middle, do the same thing on the other side. Once we have that, we want to go ahead and remove these blocks right over there. There we go. And then once we remove these blocks, we want to grab ourselves some of our slime blocks, place down one over here, one over there, build up two over here to make three in total, and then do the same thing over here, build down by two, and then do the same thing on the other side. So let's just go ahead and do that. And this is basically going to be one of the blocks that's going to help move our doors, or actually the only blocks that's going to move our doors. All right, so now let's build down three slime blocks right in front of that one piston. And if you guys do know, pistons can move a collective amount of six slime blocks at once. All right, so now what we need to do is go ahead and grab ourselves our blocks for our door. They cannot be obsidian. They need to be a movable block. So I'm going to put a, a quartz block on the face of those and they're basically just going to push it 
And now what we need to do is go ahead and grab ourselves an obsidian block. And this obsidian block is going to be placed right on our slime blocks, just like this, right next to our sticky pistons. Then we need to grab ourselves some redstone torches, place it on the face of these blocks. And then that's basically going to activate our sticky pistons, as you guys can see. Then we need to place down a redstone torch right on top of these blocks in order to invert the top section. So that way, like when the bottom door closes, the top door opens. All right, so the next thing we need to do is grab ourselves a block of our choice, build one block down like this, one block out, destroy this block at the bottom, and then build out, I believe, three blocks like this, then build across just like that, and then basically connect this up to this area. So let's just go ahead and do that. There we go. Destroy that block over there, grab ourselves a bit of redstone dust, and then place this redstone dust going from that block all the way down to this block. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is grab ourselves a bit of, um, blocks of our choice, I mean, and build out one block over here, and then build out one more, and then build out one down. Now, what you need to do is to make sure that you don't place down a block over here, because that's going to block this bit of redstone from getting powered. Alright, so once you have that, you want to go ahead and place down a bit of redstone dust all along these blocks it should get powered and it should invert those doors one last time all right so the next thing you need to do is basically grab yourselves a redstone torch place a redstone torch over here with a block on top of that and then build out one block over here up like that so then build one block over here and then two blocks over here and then you basically want to destroy this block and then maybe just build down one block over here and then extend this all the way across. So it's going to look something just like that. You need to place down a bit of redstone dust here and all along here and actually place down a redstone repeater there and there and then set these both to four ticks and then place down a bit of redstone dust there and all along here. And that should be good. All right, so we need to do one last thing before we finish up this build and that is to grab a few blocks of our choice, build out one, two, two blocks just like that and then one two three over here then grab ourselves a redstone repeater place down a redstone repeater facing towards that direction set that to four ticks and when this block is pushed down it should get activated then connect this up to our redstone and that should be it now we can go ahead and test this out by hitting that button and as you guys can see this is going to work just fine we hit the button at the top and the door closes and the door at the bottom opens up and then we have our working elevator now the next thing we do have to do or the final thing if you guys are decorating it is to decorate the entire inside out of obsidian since all of the blocks will be you know get touched by this slime block that's moving up so once like you get to this position over here you could build it out of whatever but make sure that all of these blocks are touching either furnaces or obsidian blocks as they cannot stop slime blocks from moving. Either way, guys, that's basically going to wrap up today's redstone tutorial. I know it was a bit complicated, but I want to do more complex redstone creations like this. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to take one second to smack the like button, subscribe to see more awesome redstone tutorials, as well as don't forget to like the video and leave a comment down below. Anyways, guys, this was Twist. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.